it's actually starting to melt the plug end. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she was getting very, very hot. It's actually distorted the plug. It's melted to the point that it bowed it. Hey guys, Kevin from Halo Power Solutions. So today I want to talk to you about arc fault breakers and uh, let's find out if you got stabbed in the back by your builder. Okay, so once again, I want to remind you, if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button so you can uh, keep up with all the great videos we're putting out every week. Okay, so if you've got a newer home, you likely have what they call arc fault breakers in your electrical panel. These breakers are a uh, safety device. Um, they've been a uh, code requirement for several years, and every time we have a code update, they add more devices to the list that need to be protected by arc fault. So these breakers, uh, they protect your home. They trip if there is any irregular sparking, arcing, or anything on the circuit. So I'm here at the sub panel, and this breaker right here is the one that's been nuisance tripping, and it's tagged main floor plugs. So as electricians, when we think of arc fault breakers, uh, we tend to cringe because many of us have dealt with uh, the nuisance tripping on arc fault breakers, and there's a certain brand out there that's notorious for them. Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to name names, but I'll tell you, they start with C and then with men's. So anyways, uh, so we've got the call today about an arc fault uh, that was tripping regularly in this home. We immediately thought that brand of breaker, but actually that wasn't the case. This home has an Eaton panel in it. And from our experience, the Eaton arc fault breakers work just fine. So just to show you what they look like, you'll recognize them because they have a test button on the breaker, they look very much like a GFCI breaker. And uh, yeah, like I said, this panel's loaded with Eaton breakers. This is actually a sub panel. And we've also got some in the main panel as well. Here. So I've got a brand new Eaton breaker here because uh, I brought one with me because sometimes we uh, get the odd faulty one. So you'll see the white tail coming off the back. That's a neutral connection. So these breakers connect a little differently than your standard 15 amp or 20 amp uh, breaker. The reason B is because we've got a connection for the black hot wire, but we've also got a connection on here for the neutral or to be politically correct, the identified conductor. So here's what they look like. So everything looked just fine in the electrical panel. Uh, didn't see any issues, obvious issues with the arc fault breaker. So we started digging into this a uh, little more with a problem here. And let me show you what we found. I've got a plug that has started to uh, burn. They had an, something plugged in and it the heat. Look at that. It's yeah. melted it, eh? It has. Mm, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking, and I hate to say it, but new construction, it's all about speed and people backstab them. Backstabbing does not give you a good connection as the metal expands and contracts. Eventually starts arcing inside. You don't see it, but it uh, burns up. Yeah, you're right. And it's usually on the white wire, the, ne the neutral wire we see it, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I'll bet your next wire is double double. It's a uh, <laughs> neutral wire. Look at that. Oh, can you know, get her. So oh, it's yeah, starting to heat up. It's all discolored there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you really need to have them wrapped around the screws. It, it's a better connection. It stops the arcing. Maybe you're still going to have problems if you try pulling too much through, but the breaker takes care of that. Yeah, you bet. And that's why we never, ever backstab our plugs. That was my back. I'd be hurting. Definitely. And if you check this out, it's actually starting to melt the plug end. Oh, look at that. Yeah. She was getting very, very hot. It's actually distorted the plug. It's melted to the point that it bowed it. It bowed it and oh, it started. Smokes. You know, that's it. The backstab in these plugs. And they were plugging in a portable air conditioner, which uses a big power draw. And that's what causes a failure on this. Bad connection on the backstab and a heavy load on the perceptacle. Brutal. Never backstab. No, 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 no. So yeah, here's the culprit right here. Portable air conditioner uses a lot of power and it's plugged into a receptacle that was backstabbed from new construction. Questions or do whatever you do. 
All right, Stu, so you got that uh, original melted plug removed. I did, and you can actually see the difference between the two plugs. Oh, look at that nice bow in that, that, yeah, that plug. Yeah, it is. That's brutal. Boy, that thing got hot. She got hot. She First time I've actually seen one before whole back was melted off. Yeah. I yeah. can just see it starting there. Okay, so what are you going to do different putting in the new one? Well, I'm not going to backstab it. Had a boy. Yeah, that's just wrong. So what we're going to do, get them stripped off here. And I don't know why they still do it, why they still put the holes, the backstab holes after, you know, everything that's been going on with these plugs. They, everyone knows it's an issue, but... It's quick, and if you're a builder, you want to get these done as quick as you can. Yep. Let uh, let Halo Power worry about it eight years later. Well, you know what? The Blake Group builders are cheap. It gives me work, but it's just not safe. I'd rather not be fixing something that's unsafe right from the get-go. And if you're ever doing these, just a little side note, make sure you screw both plugs, screws. Yeah, there's no doubt that upper screw when it's left out can touch the side of the box and oh, cause a hole to come. Right. So easy as that. New plug put in and uh, the wires put around the binding screws on the side. All right, let's carry on upstairs here. We've taken care of the problem on the uh, main floor. Oh, look what we've got here. It's another portable air conditioner. And the customer has reported that the arc fault breaker for this area of the house has tripped a couple times. So what do you do? So yeah, this air conditioner draws 11 amps on its own. And uh, you know, that's a lot of juice going through a uh, circuit. So if you've got other devices on the circuit, you might be right at the max. And uh, the breaker may not trip on overload, but it could trip because you have a wiring problem with those backstab plugs. That's where the arc fault really comes into play. So the way to correct this problem is to uh, take all the plugs apart and uh, we always replace them. We, we remove the old plugs and we put new uh, receptacles in and we go around those side binding screws so that they're not backstabbed. Because when you have devices like a portable air conditioner or a electric heater, that's another one that uses a lot of power. Even a hair dryer, anything like that that uses a lot of power, that's where you're going to see a problem in the circuit. And the thing is, all the plugs in your home, they're actually looped in and out. So you may have a air conditioner plugged in at a certain point of your home and you find you've got a plug that's melting actually somewhere else in the loop. And it's because those back side connections are stabbed in the back. They go in, they go out, they go in it, they go out. And you could have six, seven, eight, up to 12 receptacles all in that loop. And uh, a problem will arise down the road. So uh, yeah, you got a newer home and the plugs have been backstabbed. You really want to consider getting these receptacles replaced and the wiring put properly around the binding screws because my opinion, that's the only way to do it. We've shared with the homeowner what we found with that melted receptacle and they're making the right decision. Uh, they want all the receptacles replaced and uh, uh, connected using the binding screw. And the thing is, if we have uh, plugs here that are in fine working condition and we can get the wires out of the backstab connection, then we'll just pull them out and reconnect them to the binding screw. But if there's any chance that that plug looks like it's got any damage or overheating, we're going to replace it. So final thoughts. What's my consensus on arc fault breakers? Well, if they're Eaton or other brands out there that are known to work just fine, they're good. And in this situation, that arc fault breaker did exactly what it should. It picked up that overheating, that potential sparking, burning that was happening at the receptacle. And it started tripping. So, uh, you know, it was a nuisance to the homeowner, but little did they know it was doing exactly what it was supposed to do. So for the most part, I think arc fault uh, breakers are great, uh, unless they're that one brand that uh, I won't mention again, but you may have heard of them. Um, so that's all I got. So 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please, uh, you know, send us some comments, give us a like, and definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done that yet. Till next time, I'm Kevin with Halo Power Solutions, where every day we're bringing power for life.